So today I'm gonna show you an example of a two-dimensional rope tension equilibrium analysis problem. So we're gonna start with this example right here. Let's say we have a rope right here and another rope. This one can be, let's say, theta 1 and this can be theta 2. And then we have a weight right here which just hangs down like this. Let's call it F. Let's make it, let's say, 100 newtons. And theta 1 can be, let's say, 30 degrees. And theta 2 can be, let's say, 45 degrees. And of course, F is 100 newtons. So, to solve this, we need to use equilibrium. And for this, we're going to use the Newton's first law, which is sigma f equals zero, which basically means that the sum of all forces has to be zero. And we can basically write it like this. We have to divide it into components. So we'll write it as sigma f x, which is the horizontal direction of force, equals and the vertical force equals zero. And we'll make this into a system of equations. So to make these equations, we have to first take into account these angles right here. And first, let's call this T1 and T2. So we'll first, this is the tension force right here. So the tension force times sine of this equals the vertical component, which is T1y, and the horizontal one is cosine T1x. So T1 cosine of 30 degrees minus these components t2 vertic horizontal force component minus t2 cosine 45 degrees and then we'll do the same for this vertical component so t1 sine of 30 degrees minus t2 times oh i mean oh yes it was sine i messed up sine of 45 degrees like that and of course equals zero since the forces have to cancel out to fulfill this equilibrium requirement so this one was actually 100 newtons because the force downwards is 100 of course and the y component must total that so when we put everything into a calculator, like TI Inspire, we're gonna get T1 equals 73.2 newtons and T2 equals 89.7 newtons.
And here we have it. T1 equals 73.2 and T2 is 89.7. So, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll probably be making a couple more videos like this. I did stumble a couple of times during this because I'm not a professional lecturer or professor or teacher or anything. But have a nice day.